This is Teasant, the leader of Server 17's tea shop and a member of Server 1's ISC. And today I'm going to do a quick overview of my Server 1 account. It's my first ever uh, voice included video. Um, first thing I'm probably going to do is just run, run you through my Shinobi list real quick. So, my top Shinobi are all tier 16, I am level 82. Uh, currently my heavy is basically completely maxed with everything except for gear and scroll and talisman awakenings. Now because um, I am currently working on Psy and I have been since the game released, I am low on scrolls. Although I am very happy I actually did that because without using any SR fragments I managed to get him 6 star LB2. Personally, I would highly recommend going for, for him if you aren't already. He has an amazing LB2, which um, at level 82 increases the chakra by 1,824 for all allies at the start of every single turn. Now this happens even if he isn't in the current uh, activated cell. He does it anywhere, as long as he is alive. So, yeah, I've been putting a fair bit into him. Um... So besides that, I've actually been doing something similar for basically every unit. What I'm trying to do is get as many fragments as possible for as many shinobi as possible. So that includes every single elite mission. I've been doing all of them to try and 7 star every single uh, SR. Already 7 star every R a long time ago. <laughs> Can't stop getting frags since then. So currently working on those. I believe a few of them aren't too far from 7 star, but some of them are still a bit off. Besides that, I have been quite lucky pulling URs, however, all of them seem to be after their banners, so I've got practically no fragments for each of them, which is kind of unfortunate, but I can't be too mad considering they uh, will provide link bonuses. So for my main team, I'm running 7 star Boruto, tier 15, tier 15, 6 star Lee, who I believe isn't too far from 7 star, uh, 5 star Kakashi at tier 16, of course these units are all level 82 because it's my maximum level, 5 star uh, SMJ, 5 star Heavy, 6 star SR Heavy, uh, 6 star Mama Sakura, who I believe isn't too far from 7 star. Uh, I'll check that in a minute. Four star Gara and six star Sai. So all of these except for Boruto and Lee are at tier 16. Uh, all my units are at least 50k besides Lee, who I might be replacing with uh, uh, what's his name, Toby, sometime soon when he's up. But currently he's only one star, so I'm saving fragments until I pull him three star. Maximum power is 520k, so not too far from my original power, but it is a bit higher, mainly because of my Tamari, who I kind of put a lot into. I really wanted her frame, so I kind of maxed her a bit. Other than that, I've got what I believe to be pretty decent speed, so if I go to one star units here you can see that my speed is currently plus 2070 I think I still have some scrolls right now that I could spend later to try and bring it up a little bit more but I'll do that later so other than that um, if you didn't already know I am quite unlucky with summons I have not pulled a featured UR since grand opening where I got Papa Sasuke and as for featured SRs, I believe I haven't gotten one since Karin. Just quite unfortunate, but it is what it is. So, other than that, um, I've been doing a lot of Rio summons trying to get my speed up. Uh, I highly recommend it if your speed is slower than usual. They are super helpful. As for drills, obviously I am completely maxed them out. I've completed the top ones a while ago. Besides that, I am completely, completely caught up with the elite missions and standard missions, I believe, unless there are more. 
Okay, from level 90. Yeah, I'm not level 90 yet, obviously. I am at level 82, so... I'll be unlocking that at some point. As for Tower of Eternity, I did uh, get to the... 70th floor a bit after it dropped. I don't remember exactly how much. I don't remember how difficult it was, but that is completed. As for NWT, unfortunately, I am in D League still, although it looks like I might be promoted to C again, which is pretty nice. As for my team, it's. I think it's alright, but definitely could use some improvements. But. Yeah, unfortunately I'm not doing the best in NWT, good thing it doesn't really matter too much, as rewards are weekly. Um, unless you're in, like, S or A League, in which case you'll get an Omni, which helps a bit, I guess. <laughs> uh, drone exercises, and I don't, know, don't really need to go over that too much. As for Arena, um, I, I honestly just do 5 attempts now, just because of how unreliable my... Arena is. Uh, recently I've been doing pretty good, but I used to do like really badly, like I would lose to uh, people like 40k under me, even that are even if they're slower than me, because for some reason I've just been getting really unlucky. But currently it seems to be doing pretty well. Um, at the end of this video I'll probably do a match or two just to showcase how those go. Um, I think that about covers most of it. Uh, oh yeah, uh, Arena, or not Arena, um, Gamma, uh, I've maxed, I believe I've maxed basically every shrine now, uh, including the Rio ones. Yeah, so unless I'm missing like some of the later ones, I've, I highly recommend buying the Shino coin ones immediately, they're really really good for their cost. As for the Rio ones, I'm not sure if they're worth it or not. I guess it depends on the player. I'm not certain. Personally, I bought them all, but you can do whatever you want with them. Uh, as for Gamma, I'm, I believe I'm doing pretty well on these. I'm just behind in the green. As for training, uh, I've maxed the first one, and I'm getting there in the second one. But still got a bit of work to do. I'm no cl nowhere close to the third one. That's going to take a lot more for me. Uh, besides that, um, Tribe Specials, personally, I used to grind Zabuza Fragments, so he's, I believe, 5 star now, but I think I did drop a few SR Fragments just to get it over with. And as for Tribes, I've got quite a few of these at EX. I believe my highest is Sand Siblings at like 15? 12, okay. Um, I would highly recommend getting the Akatsuki Tribes up, the 3 mana Akatsuki ones for... PvE, specifically um, FG, I think, no, not FG, Abyss. Uh, so I've been upgrading these, uh, this one specifically, just because, uh, I don't know, I like what it does, I guess. <laughs> I just chose a random one, pretty much. Uh, I believe there are some achievements for getting EX Tribes, so I would at least get a few of those, but... Uh, I would probably just focus on the Akatsuki ones, since you're going to want to be using them in Abyss. As for Arena, you really shouldn't. I would go no tribes there. So since I think I've covered pretty much everything on my account, I'm going to do some Arena matches. Probably just show a little bit of each match, just because... I don't know just to get a brief overview of how my team does. Now, as for my team setup, um, I believe overall it's not bad, but I think the only problem I'm, ha I'm having is just that my force team is a bit squishy. So I am hoping to maybe take Lee out for someone. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's probably who I'm going to be taking out. So as you can see, Sai has already been helping. He brought my UR Heavy right to Jutsu on the second turn, which in my opinion is pretty crazy. So I'm already taking people out because I can already Jutsu. And SR Heavy is, was not too far from, from Jutsu himself. So you can see, turn 3, I've already got uh, Sakura and Sai to a Jutsu, Gara almost there. So you can already see that Sai is having a huge impact on my team. He's honestly 
great everywhere. I highly recommend uh, bringing him up. And as you can tell, I've been doing a lot of real summons, so that's why I can outspeed this guy by quite a bit. So I highly recommend focusing on them at least until you're higher than most of the other people your power. If you want, you should, you, I would recommend going a bit higher than that, but it's not 100% necessary. Just at least get it up a bit. So although my force team is squishy, they are three nukes, they do a lot of damage. So in some cases, even if they, uh, as long as you're faster, this team uh, force cell actually does not do too bad. So yeah, you get the point of this match. I'm gonna uh, get a co-op attack here, get some stuns off. It's I've already won this match by quite a bit. Yeah, so that match was not going anywhere. There was no way he could have won that. So that's typically how most of my matches go around my power, just because I'm fairly fast, so I outspeed most of them. And because I've got a decent amount of stuns, I usually don't get rocked too badly, even if they get a bunch of stuns. So I'm going to do one more. Also, in addition, of course, if you are interested, I do have a link to my Discord in the description below. So you can click that, and then you can request videos or just talk about anything. We're a pretty relaxed Discord. We've got some bots and some other stuff. But uh, if you're interested, we also have uh, an alliance on Server 17 and Server 7. So you can join those if you're in either of those servers. The Server 7 one, though, is only for players who use an only one-star account. If you're interested in doing that, just let me know and I can uh, let you in. And I can also provide you details for how it works. It's pretty fun, honestly. And as for the server 17, we are currently number 2, so we are full at the moment, but if you're looking to join and you have like a pretty high power account, then feel free to let me know and I can see what I can do. And as for those, actually, I will most likely be making videos for a review of both of my accounts, or both my other accounts, just to review my units and team and all that. So those might be coming pretty soon. I'm not sure exactly when, but I'll keep you updated. So this match looks like it's already over. So that's about how my arena matches go. Usually they go completely fine unless they get a bunch of stuns off me, in which case I can lose here and there. It has happened, but uh, yeah, Psy is a huge help with this team. I, I can't stress enough that you really need to get him up. So I think that's about it. I believe I've covered just about everything in this account. Um, yeah. So I'm going to leave it there. Again, if you're interested, the Discord link is in the description.